Howdy! How's everybody out there in YouTube land today? I'm uh, working on hair barrettes again and we'll be for a while. I got a few more up there to paint, but today we're going to be working on this one. It, this is a succulent. You all seen the, the hen and chicks uh, in the succulent family of plants that they're kind of like a cactus, but they don't have the spiky things on them. And that's what this is. And we're going to put this, uh, we've, we've already engraved this on this design or on this hair barrette. So now all we have to do is paint it. And I'm going to use the micro brush and I'm going to use the metallic Gord Master paints. I've got three colors out here to use. I'm going to use the Emerald Frost. That's this one right here. Get the lid off of it. That's Emerald Frost. And then this one they call Sea Foam Sparkle. That's going to be our, our shader. And then we've got the Sassy Gold. For a little highlight. And we'll be using a little Formula 49 on this for a blender. This is a Gord Master Blender. So I'm going to put a drop of that down here. Well, tell you what, let me put two drops down. I always end up using two drops on it anyway. So we'll do that. And I got my micro brush out here and I've got my paper towel to wipe it off on ready to rock. And we're going to start with this emerald green and just get a dab on there. We're not trying to paint the house. And I'm going to start on these leaves just a little bit. See what, see what a dab, I mean, goodness gracious. You don't need to take the paintbrush and soak it. <laughs> then on each leaf, I'm being careful not to, to swab it all over the lines that I engraved on it. Just do each leaf. Making sure to get to the corners. You don't want to go over the lines, but you want to get right up to the lines. If you see any place where you got it maybe a little thick, you can go back and blot it off. See where I first started at, got a little thick there. So I'll blot that off and use that in another spot. You just take your time. You're not trying to run a foot race with your painting. You're just Putting the paint to the design. I love this metallic paint. Boy, oh boy. It's shiny and pretty. Anybody be proud to wear that in their hair? When you're wearing any kind of an embellishment. It doesn't have to be a hair embellishment. It can be a brooch or it can be a necklace, pendant, whatever. I mean, you, you want it to show off. That's what you got it on there for is to add some pizzazz to your hair, your outfit, or whatever it is you, you're decorating with it. I mean, you know, just think about your diamond rings. You know, you don't want some old dull yellow diamond. You want something bright and shiny. It's the same way with any other piece of jewelry that you own. And a hair barrette or shawl pin, that's just another piece of jewelry. You want it to take center stage. 
People look at it and say, wow. That's nice. Get you some compliments. I've seen people when they go at a painting, you know, where they're painting something that's etched like this. And they just slop the paint on the whole doggone thing. They don't pay any attention to where the lines and things are. You have to pay attention to those lines because those are your definition points. It defines where that pedal is on there. And you don't want the paint taking over and covering that up. Paint is supposed to show off the design, not cover it up. Like they, when they taught you to color back in grade school, they told you, stay inside the lines. And it's the same thing with painting. Stay inside the lines. Any place it looks a little light or looks like it didn't get quite to the edges, go back over that now. And it looks so much different down here on the table than it does on the camera. That's amazing to me. Raise it up a little bit so you can see it here. See how the lines are all defined on this. And the paint is up to all the lines, but the lines are not covered up with the paint. So it shows it off. I wish it showed the metallicness of this, maybe a little bit there on the camera. It's not showing it near as much on the camera as what you can see it here face to face with it. It is bright and shiny. That is some pretty stuff right there. All right, that's the first first go at it. Now we have to add a little bit of shadowing. Now, shadowing goes right underneath the leaves. And we're coming in with this seafoam color. Add a little shadowing right underneath where the leaves are petals or however you want to define them just right under right on the bottom part of them We don't want the shadowing to take over, but we just want it to enhance the piece. There's a lot of these leaves, or a lot of these petals on here, so it takes a minute or two to get over them all. Okay, that's looking pretty good on there. Yeah, that's showing up nice. That's showing up nice. Now, we got to blend that. That's what the 49's for. We're just going to blend that right in, that lighter seafoam green into the emerald green.
Just a little bit of blending. And that takes the harshness out of the shadows that we put on there. We don't want them harsh. We just want them to be there in the background. Just blend them in there. Yeah. So that's looking pretty. I'm going to do just a tad more blending right here in the center of that. Just blend the two greens together. Get it under the camera. All right. So we got that part done. Now we're going to add just a touch of gold to it. Look here and get a little gold and we'll put just a little bit of gold in the center and that'll get blended in as well. It won't be as harsh as what it's looking. And it's not going to go on every leaf. Just enough to spark it a ju just a touch there, and that gets blended in. We take our blending solution and knock a little bit of that off there. There we go. We're just going to blend that right into the tips of these petals. Right into the center there. Just gets blended in. Let my brush down, pick up just a little bit more of the 49. And just touch it wherever I put that gold. Just tap it. Just tap it and let it pull right into the paint. And it just moves it right around. All right. And there it is. All painted and pretty. This camera is not doing it justice at all. But boy, that is nice. I'm proud of it. So we're going to let that dry good. And we'll put a sealer on it and get a picture of it. And it'll go up on Etsy. So... That will go to the side for right now to dry. If you like what I'm doing here, give it a thumbs up. Share this on your social media so everybody gets to learn how to do this kind of thing. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you a subscriber on the channel. Um, be a supporter. I support you. You support me. That's how we're going to make this whole thing work. And you probably hear my co-host in the background there making some racket. Uh, that's Fred. <laughs> he wants to be heard. Um, let's say, where was I before Fred so rudely interrupted me? Oh, check out the Etsy store. The URL is in the description of the video for your convenience. And uh, see what all kinds of pretty things I've got up there. I'm always adding stuff to it. So bookmark it so you can keep coming back and taking looks at it and see what I've added next. And with all that being said, the next thing to say is Brenda's crafting. Be like Brenda. <laughs>